Well, um, I'm Nicole Schultz and I'm 24 years old and I've been a two-time cancer survivor. Uh, I've been in treatment the last 10 years of my life. So with all of having my bone marrow transplants and everything, uh, one of the main side effects you get is called graft versus host disease. All, in all of the connective tissue in my body, which includes my eyes, the graft versus host disease flared up really, really bad. So my eyes no longer made tears. It is a huge, huge problem and it was so painful. I just feel like sandpaper everywhere you looked, in the back of your eye and in the front of your eye. Or if you did cry, it would feel like hot needles just stabbing in your eye. Finally got to the point where we were like, we have to like really look into something for this. And for a few years, couldn't find anything. You just had to keep doing the drops, tried all different kinds, did the plugs, went to you know change my prescription, different eye doctors, and nothing did anything. And so kind of, I had for a while like totally lost hope that anything was ever gonna help. And when we did, I um, came here and met Dr. Chu, and she's just is really cool and um, helped me understand a lot of what was going on with my eyes, and it was really comforting that not a lot of people have seen graft versus host disease, and not a lot of people know what it is. So when I knew that they were actually, she's, she's got a lot of graft versus host disease patients and people that she sees with that, I, I know she actually, um, she understands what I went through as, as a cancer patient, as well as, you know, just like being her eye patient, because it's, you know, it's such a complex like side effects from the transplant. And so she's really cool. And uh, I just got fitted for the lenses uh, and got my prescription and I got them today. And so using these lenses, uh, I'm really, really excited about because it's gonna take care of the pain and help a lot with just the maintenance and make it easier to like live a normal like day-to-day -day life and not be every five seconds trying to be like, oh, I can't see, I can't open my eyes. Because, uh, you know, vision is such a huge part of the way that we experience the world and stuff, so I'm, I'm excited to be able to do that a little easier.